Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to do an update here for Hedera. Hedera right now is trading at 0.061. 24-hour volume, we're down 15.67%. And market cap, we are up 0.30%. So heading over to our chart here, I'm going to go over our daily chart and our immediate short term for four hours. I'm going to try to keep this video as concise as I can to the point so it's easier for you guys. So taking a look on our daily chart here, we are hopefully going to hold on support from our 20 moving average. We can see that the candlestick wick has retraced as low today at 0.05965. But most importantly, so long as we can keep the price in this area of supply and demand, then it's going to help us to come up and retest an area of resistance. Now, if we take a look at the area of resistance, we can see a few of our candlesticks retracing closer to 0.06225 here. And again, if I scroll out, we are going to see other areas where this price point has treated as a resistance line. Now, the price for the RSI itself is considered to be oversold here at 15% and 42%. It hasn't initiated a buying opportunity on a daily type, so the price itself may continue to come back down as we do see in the MACD indicator a low of momentum. So we can see these green bars, the strength of the momentum itself normally helps us beating resistance lines. However, if we do go from a strong momentum in a bull rally to a red momentum, then we are most likely going to be breaking through areas of support. So if we take a look here, we can see the strong momentum here breaking through as we are coming up to our 50 moving average and retrace as high as 6720 here, which was pretty exciting on October 12th. Now, as the momentum itself dissipated and getting really, really small, price itself was considered to be overbought here on October 14th and initiated a selling opportunity. As price is coming down, we can see the RSI itself is not crossing over over or has been considered as overbought. And we can see that the histogram itself is getting lighter in the color. So momentum for the bull rally is soon going to be over. That is only if, again, these bars are getting smaller and we flip from the green to the red. And if we do go into the red, then we may not hold this area of support of our 20 moving average. If we scroll out and see other areas of support, we can only see realistically, where we've already broken off um, at the FIB chart here at 38% of our retracement level, and hopefully, possibly going down to our next area of retracement at the 23% here, which is 0.05865. And again, that is going to be breaking this trend for this uptrend because we are going to be crossing over and closing um, below our 20 moving average. That's only again, if the momentum itself is going to continue to get lighter and eventually switch from the green to the red. So let's head over to our four hour time frame as we can get more data in our candlesticks. So as the candlesticks itself or the price is coming down, we can see the momentum of our MACD is lightening up. Same thing, same concept. Um, concept with the um, daily chart of the green going into the red, we want the red to go into the green at an area of resistance. Now, if we take a look at an area of resistance, really there wasn't a whole lot that we can take a look at with price itself right here. We can see a few of our candlesticks treating this area as a resistance at 6162. We already see the two peaks of our previous two candlesticks on a four hour time frame. However, we are considered to be overbought here. Now we can see that we are above 80% of a threshold at 86% and 78%. There is still some wiggle room for the RSI to continue up and don't see that crossover initiating a um, selling opportunity, which could be good. However, if we take a look at the candlestick pattern or the candlestick um, formation that we have, essentially this could close into a hanging man candlestick. And the characteristic of a hanging man candlestick is a little body at the very top here, little to no wick at the top of the candlestick, and the wick at the very bottom is twice the size of the body. So it does assemble or assemble a hanging man candlestick, which is an exhaustion of the uptrend, and the sellers may take over and reverse this uptrend itself. And, um, you know, taking a look at where the price is, closer to our 50 moving average, almost touching our 20 moving average and considered to be overbought, price may come back and retrace down. If we do see these two cross over, then we're most likely going to hold at this price and hopefully hold at the 50% and continue upwards. But because we do have this type of reversal of the candlestick and we're getting characteristics of the sellers coming into the marketplace, we may see an expansion of our MACD and our single, um, 
our signal line and may see price for Hedera drop and actually come back into this channel because if we can see the trend line itself creating a lot of higher low peaks broke through price may actually do a false breakout and come back into this channel itself so be very very um, cautious and watch out for that Early, um, for today. So that is my video here for Hedera. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. That's so it is going to help out with my growth of my channel. Also, if you're new, subscribe, but I'll see you next time. Bye.